YouTube. I am back with another pick a card. Um, let's just get started. Okay, I don't know if it's going to be a long one. Anyways, and I have readings. It's so weird how uh, there comes like a certain, it always trips me out. There's like moments where I get a bunch of readings and moments when I don't have any. And it's like weird. Anyways, let's just get started. Um, I have the Rose Aura Quartz, the Golden Healer, Blue Topaz, Topaz, Pyrite, and wa Waterman Tourmaline. So go ahead and make your selection and see what we have here. And let's get started. See what comes up. And we'll start on this side. Okay. So the Rose Aura Quartz. I love this. Um, okay. So Heart's Desire, Love. Love could be coming in. Um, divine. The Divine, maybe you'll be getting messages also on a soul level. You know, a um, spiritual message. Maybe you're getting messages. Um, so let's get... There is a shift here, and it's regarding love. Could be any kind of love, like self love. We have the Queen of Wands there. Um, you know, I related to self love because it's confidence. It's being confident, standing tall. Okay. Oh yeah. See, look, ascended. There is a struggle here, though, regarding look a love offer. Hmm. I don't get too much into these. I just pick them out, the ones that really call my name. And But anyways, <laughs> I thought I had lost that deck and, and I found it. But anyways, let's see. What is this hot mess? We have hot mess, friendships, love offer. What's going on here? It seems as if there is... <sighs> Someone's having a struggle here with their confidence, okay? Maybe you're trying to get your confidence back. But I feel like um, because the ascended could be anything of you, your body, your self-image, your your body image, your attitude, how you express yourself, how maybe your relationships with friends, because we do have friendships here too. Maybe there's some struggles with friends. Um, maybe there is a job offer you'd love, but maybe you also have to step up the way that you present yourself okay remember i don't know who needs to hear this but if you are um applying within the same company of some sort you're always interviewing for the job okay because i know at um whenever somebody wants a promotion we always think about it i don't know i've had this some lady that wanted a promotion and we were like but you can't even perfect your time management <laughs> skills you know like so just think about that um could be something regarding that but let's look into it because there is something here about changes with your connections the way they view you maybe uh because it seems as if somebody here feels like a hot mess or looks like a hot mess or maybe the people around you are influencing you in a certain way so just be careful with that kind of energy okay so let's see um there might be a love offer here because the ascendant is about relationships as well um because it's like friendships all kinds of relationships too the uh, you know the way that you approach situations express yourself in let's see what is this hot mess though Most of you here are single, but there is something. Why is this hot mess here? Kind of, I'm picking up on somebody that has went through this healing phase, and it's hard to get their confidence back or their self-esteem. Like you've been through it rough. I don't know who that is for, but through a rough phase. Now it's time to get to think a lot more logically to 
rise above it. Maybe you've been jaded in a situation. Maybe people are seeing you as somebody very cold, distant as well. Mm, I hope not because somebody here is seeing that you're probably not happy, but you're acting like you have it all together. Two of Pentacles again, which we have it down here. Maybe you're trying to really balance your life here, but you're having a hard time. It's time, I feel like you're having a hard time balancing things out in your life. But it seems as if you're going through some kind of change. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're trying to balance out or cutting out chaos in your life messy situations and just staying busy give me more of this friendships yeah some of you need to let go of some toxic friends okay be careful who you hang out with um yeah okay i started hanging out with a friend and I, she didn't have a good reputation, but she was pretty cool. You know, I don't judge anybody, and I never hanged out with her. And she, I kind of saw the toxic energies. I was like, I don't want to be around that, you know. So I just slowly backed away. So just be careful because if friends are bringing you stress, you have to watch out for that, okay? This could also be a prediction. Maybe you don't feel like you have anybody you can run to, talk to. Yeah, there is something here about connections. Healing a connection. It could be maybe there's some change coming your ways, but maybe you're attracting, you're wanting to attract new friends. Seems as if you're stressing over a friendship, a connection of... Uh, a best friend your soul soulmate which we can have a friend as a soulmate hmm. just be careful okay because i don't know why i want to say be careful because you might be thinking one thing and it's another but i feel like there's there is um gonna be a lot of opening doors because when you let go of something if you're if you're losing friends connections there's you're making room for other ones that's how energy works what is this love offer why is it so surrounded over friendships connections maybe you've been stressed out over a connection as well it could also be love But some of you are needing to really open up your options. Go out there and make new connections too. How come these are not coming out? Yeah, moving forward. Okay. Moving forward. Thinking positive about it. Yeah, getting out of this and getting your confidence back. Okay. I'm getting fake it till you make it kind of energy. It seems as if you have a lot of lack of um, something here has happened, like even with friendships, with love. Um, and I tell you to love to the next level, but it I feel like Spirit's asking you to start to loving yourself and things will fall into place because there is a lot of lack of not having enough, maybe even feeling like the victim. I don't even like saying that because none of us are victims. Okay, and if you keep telling yourself that, then, you know, you you keep telling, you're speaking things into existence. With the chariot here, it seems like you are trying hard to leave that behind. And once you get your confidence back, I feel like your things are going to start coming in for you. And it could be a love offer. It could be a job offer too, because I, I also see... I don't see it as all love for some of you. Mm -mm. I feel like it's all about you. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what is this ascended? Yeah, see, look at that. Walking away from whatever drains you and going towards maybe even a makeover, a glow up. 
a new beginning ascended is also new beginnings um a leadership role that you're trying to go towards Maybe you're struggling, but it's because some kind of energy, emotional energy that is holding you back. Okay, it's about being genuine to yourself, being true to yourself. What do you stand for? You know, if you, yeah, you might be going through some kind of transition here. Okay, people are going to be looking at you differently once you start letting go of the past surrendering to the past what is this nine of wands about Let's see struggling because of this hurt from the past it was huge hurt it, i'm not look at that self-love new beginning in love as well could be also self-love self-care putting yourself first after a big heart it, betrayal hurts it's it's a struggle to start loving yourself after you've gone through a huge phase okay it's it's a struggle it's it's a struggle and a process okay it doesn't take overnight so be patient with yourself what is this two of wands uh this is very specific wow see once you become this this person of confidence and self-love look at that you're going to um, start a new life maybe even opening maybe even traveling going out there being more bold more courageous more confident i do see that you're going to be meeting a soulmate here a new beginning once you you know find this confident person within you there is abundance here. There is things opening up. Ex maybe you're going to be out there exploring and finally have this life of abundance and prosperity. Give me more of this Queen of Wands. I never say prosperity, but it that came to me. So let's see. Yeah, look at that Queen of Wands. You see how positive the cards are? start coming out oh one just fell okay when that happens it was a magician but well, let's see give me more the magician is of course why does she always do that i don't say its name i don't say nothing close to its name but anyways, <laughs> okay, with the Knight of Swords that wants to pop out, it seems as if this could be coming in fast, okay, something coming in fast once you get your confidence back, okay, take your time, um, don't try to rush things either, like I said, have patience with yourself. Wow, I see something being rushed here and getting into something a lot more serious, a lot more sec uh, security, stability, really um, standing what you believe in here, a whole new life. And it seems as if it's coming. This is what you need to know is that once you let go of something from the past, you surrender to it you start changing finding your confidence back your self-esteem your self-love i know there's fear around it because you've been hurt before but there is something really good coming your way okay there's going to be a reason for celebration abundance once you start um how do i say opening up to this yeah wow and it's uh, you've come a long way you've gone through some kind of phase here where you're just trying to keep yourself balanced and maybe you keep going back and forth with your emotions you're you're trying to balance i know you're trying but you're so confused over some kind of friendship or some kind of changes you needing to let go of something toxic or a soulmate of yours 
and opening up maybe you're confused you don't know what to do you're not you don't even know if you're on the right place there's a temptation to go back to something that was very toxic mm. but there could even be somebody coming in wanting to date you but there is a positive new love coming in for a lot of you for some of you, you need to love yourself until that comes in love yourself to the next level meaning love yourself until that moment comes in for you okay so that is what you need to know i hope this resonated with someone is very specific seems like it's all surrounded but toward on like you it's all about you here okay so we have of course leo a lot of fire energy interesting um aquarius cancer gemini taurus leo taurus libra pisces i see all signs but i just named a uh, major ones the major ones okay so let's keep going okay the yellow the yellow um crystal let's see let's get started here okay yellow crystal oh the golden healer <laughs> um abundance expansion golden rays Ooh, sun and leo you might have that if not it doesn't matter but it could be you know something here triggering um jupiter i feel like it's more of jupiter whenever i think of expansion i think of jupiter energy um so universal life force flows strongly within the golden healer i've been wanting this crystal for a while but i always forget to order some um anyways let's just get started i don't get too much into those because i just pick them out randomly uh, without a question or anything sometimes i do but sometimes i don't so wow crystal ball angel marriage it seems like something here is brewing ninth house energy maybe you are um traveling thinking about traveling going uh, maybe also uh ninth house okay i'm not an astrologer ninth house is about education further education like courses maybe you're taking some courses going back to school going on um traveling could also be religion spirituality getting into a new religion or maybe psychic things mysticism okay it's all about your fake maybe you're seeking more information getting more into it um it's about your belief system taking more risk but yeah let's get started here so what you need to know you're being divinely guided which is so weird because the ninth house is faith so pay attention to the signs and the dreams that you are having you're probably having some dreams you're being protected right now yeah i feel like whenever there is something going on in your ninth house or this kind of energy being triggered you're being protected interesting because the golden healer is also um i feel like it's also about healing um how do i say your angels are helping you heal and stuff like that it, that's the kind of energy that i feel with that kind of crystal that's why i've been wanting it like i don't know i don't know the benefits i forgot about the benefits but they're pretty good pretty good anyways the properties i mean let's see what is this divinely guided give me more on this there's marriage in the cards for you okay unless you're already married or a new partner uh maybe divorced angels so you've been healing you've been just keeping to yourself with very withdrawn um probably thinking about the future seeking true emotional fulfillment true love you've been growing 
you have been kind of withdrawn from anything that um how do i say any drama any be careful because there could be some drama coming towards you every time i see something like this i feel there's drama coming towards you so just be careful but you're very protected by your angels so don't worry about the drama just try to keep to yourself give me more of this marriage it's interesting because the other day um i rarely do this but i did this because i sometimes i am scared to do this because it always happens but this time i had a valid reason okay this is a side story so sorry if i'm talking too much but i actually prayed that something that some people in my life will hopefully they stay away they be pulled out or they or their true colors come out please show them i was praying i let it go and bang within two days like start, things started coming out i was like see i knew it i knew it i knew it i just needed confirmation needed other people to see it and there you go and now they're gonna stay away for a while hopefully anyways let's just keep going marriage wow the high priestess maybe some of you are mystics or something here is already you are in this energy oh yeah you're learning something about mysticism maybe you're going you're getting more into the i don't know the hidden hidden wisdom the hidden information the eighth house or maybe you're learning more you're going studying astrology um what is it? It could be anything from Wicca, Paganism, Paganism? Yeah. Um, anything like that. So maybe you're into that. I do see a lot of studying here. But maybe you're going to get also a, maybe an astrology reading or something, maybe a reading, tarot reading about love, marriage or something like that. Hmm. maybe you're trying to find out as well or maybe you're you're attracting this person as well for some of you you're attracting this person into your life give me more of this crystal ball it's going to be different for everyone so just choose what fits you give me more of this crystal ball remember it's a general reading so i there could be a many ways it fits people wow so you have been stuck for a while because you've gone through so much in the past heartache okay now you're letting go you're releasing that heartache there is something here occult and historic knowledge again this is pushing you into seeing you or stepping into your spiritual power stepping into a you know you with how you're feeling learning how to also um you probably can see something is coming towards you maybe some of you are mystics or very intuitive and you can feel there's this inner knowing that something is coming towards you an event taking place really soon because you've already let go of something that has really hurt you in the past and it seems like it's coming in somebody very bold confident uh, somebody that wants to invest in this wants to travel with you obstacles are being lifted with the ninth house here okay maybe you're there's possibilities of um hmm yeah, it could be anything like that, but it seems as if you're, let's see, what is this ninth house? I'm getting something about something from the past has pushed you to do something into learning more about you, your intuition, or about a religion. Give me more of this ninth house.
ninth house yeah a new beginning you're seeing things clearly you're finding more information you're traveling it could be um passport as well maybe you're making plans maybe you don't see it yet but it could be coming in for you yeah because i feel like you're doing a lot of self-love self-care right now you're very focused on you and you're seeing things clearly what is this lovers maybe you're thinking about taking trips wow what is going on you're gonna be finding your true love here i feel like it's true love this is the one somebody here finds you in very empowered very alluring very mysterious they want to get to know you they want to take you out and it could be a new beginning in love here now i see it okay for a lot of you what is this oh what the stars the star that wants to pop out i'm telling you it's true love i see i see it here king of wands um, I feel like this is the person that's coming in. It does, it's not gender specific, but it is a person of action coming in with a lot of passion, a lot of very bold confidence. Like I said, wow, with the Empress. I think Pile One got almost the same, same combination here. But this one's stronger. This one, it seems like this is going towards something serious that other one too but this one is like whoa okay give me more of this king of wands i love the combination here this so this person is going to want something serious with you why because you are presenting yourself as somebody that knows their value there's a lot of self-care self-love here and i feel like this person knows that you are a person that to take serious okay somebody that does make moves towards commitment give me more of this eight of pentacles okay too many right there give me more of the eight of pentacles so you both there's an inner give me more of this I feel like you both, if you know this person from a past here, if you know this person from a past, I feel like this person wants to work things out with you, clear the air, okay, um, express what needs to be expressed. There was a lot of hidden feelings in the past that led to disappointment. I feel like if it's someone new, because I do see that most of you, it's going to be someone new this person wants wants to understand you wants to work things out and invest in this but i feel like someone here is still tied to some kind of past disappointment okay that is going to cause some kind of um conflict here because something from the past is still hindering this mm, okay i don't like that but it looks like you both are going to be able to work things out through the thick and thin. That's what I'm getting with this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that is what I have for you all. So that is what you need to know. I feel like these are so short today. But, again, I have other readings I need to get to. So I do have a Taurus, Libra, Aquarius cancer that's what you need to know i hope you i go, got everything here okay virgo gemini um taurus cancer pisces cancer again earth water fire i see all signs of course i just named a few of the major ones okay so let's keep going oh i have gemini leo or sag here let's keep going Okay, let's keep going here with the blue topaz. 
Okay, so uh, Sun in Sagittarius or Jupiter in Sag, maybe some of you have that placement. Doesn't have to be. I don't even focus on these. Not in this reading, okay? So let's see. Inspired by the sun, blue topaz draws in strength from the solar energy. Generosity, strength, and vitality to those who seek it. Interesting. Maybe you're seeking strength. Oh, let's see, Neptune. Two of Pentacles. Oh. Okay, what you need to know. Okay, so some of you, ooh, I feel like this is past energy. I hope so. If not, just keep this in mind, okay? Some of you are Pisces, Pisces or just, yeah, Pisces, um, or have it in your charts very strongly, okay? Whenever I see Neptune, I'm always kind of conflicted because it could mean you know um a neptune is uh how do i say it could be alcohol drawing dreams um delusions you know illusions here it could be this self-conscious uh, subconscious how do i say a lot of confusion or trying to escape reality and just living in your dreams um yeah and it kind of seems like if you if you don't think about the consequences before choosing something be careful okay um because you might be self-destructing or maybe even um, caught in a situation where you're very confused not knowing what is happening okay so don't believe everything that you hear there's some good news coming but be use your intuition but for some of you you've already gone through some kind of disillusion here something that uh you probably jumped in without even giving it much thought you know and it created a lot of chaos and it took a lot for you to to start to balance your energy here okay so let's see what is this good news about some of you are getting a promotion or something or maybe even um, thinking about getting a new place or investing in a, I don't know, a new place or something. A big payment or something like that. Let's see, what is this good news? I'm getting mortgage for some of you. The fool again, which we have it down here, okay? Could be about regarding a new beginning, but again, be careful because Neptune is here. There is good things about Neptune. There's always good and bad to a planet, but just be careful because it could also be, you know, hidden enemies. It could also bring um, secrecy, mysticism, but uh, the bad stuff is more about like the toxins, alcohol, poisons, escapism. Um, and it looks like you're trying to escape something as well with the fool here. Not thinking about the consequences. Okay, so some of you are just dreaming. So pay attention to those dreams. The fool could be somebody that jumps in without even giving it much thought, you know, and not even caring about the consequences okay some of you could be traveling as well there's maybe a hmm, some news from a distance somebody from a distance or communication but you're receiving these news it could be someone from a distance wanting to talk to you wanting to come in so just we'll clarify more but I do see that you're rising above. There is a renewal here. It's interesting how these two came up. Uh, rising from the ashes, being offered a second chance, the end of a dis of despair, powerful inner transformation, leaving old flames, embrace new, 
release energy and emotions playing with fear oh playing with fire okay see i'm telling you you're playing with fire here you might be receiving something okay and you're rising above something here the end of something that had you hurt what was lost is being restored but well, let's look more into it i'm just not getting really good vibes for most of you the sun yeah finding that happiness again you're you're in that energy optimism beautiful energy new beginnings give me more of this new renewal i mean renewal preparing for what's next but really embracing this new energy making a judgment call here a final decision for your own self and keeping to yourself not giving so freely of yourself letting go releasing i feel give me more of this neptune energy because it's i don't like it <laughs> Uh, every time I think of Neptune energy, I think of liars. I think of delusions. Um, I don't know. I just don't. Of course, there's good and bad. Like you might be in, in a, into you might be a mystic or into a, the I don't know a psychic medium. Let's see. What is this Neptune? See, seven of swords i told you that i do seven of swords if you don't know seven of swords with neptune is not a good combination someone here is mm, liars you know i just said that liars but i think of liars um i didn't know if that was my intuition or if is sometimes i have to be clear I don't like to be swayed, into, but Neptune really gives me that feeling. So, again, it could become emotional drain, emotional baggage here because someone keeps stealing your energy, your time, creating this illusion for you. Okay, so just be careful. Be careful because it seems as if there's something coming back in okay somebody here holds all the cards i leave this in because it does give me a um a message all the time and here i feel like try to stay balanced don't let this person come in knock you off your balance because it seems as if you're doing really good you've learned from it and you're ready for a new beginning you're preparing for it. you're feeling you're embracing this new energy coming in and somebody here is holding all the cards, but I feel like you actually are, are holding all the cards. It's really up to you on how things change. Okay, so try to stay balanced and learn from what's happened in the past, what you've left behind. Look at that. Okay, don't show your cards. I want to say that. I don't know why. Maybe play your cards right. Give me more of this fool. Yeah. So there is someone here that caused a lot of disappointment because it seems as if you fell in love or you fell into a situation without even giving it much thought and you ended up heartbroken or disappointed disappointed it seems heartbroken of course um and had maybe even confused illusion uh, disillusions here something you thought was it wasn't so it was a big disappointment give me more of this five of wands created a lot of chaos in your life but it seems as if you cut this off Things could be turning around for you. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Ooh, Ace of Wands coming out. Ooh, what the devil. So it's really up to you here. 
Ooh, I feel like there was a lot of also a lot of intimacy, a lot of because these two together is phallic. I feel like there was a lot of intimacy, but you had to cut that out. But it created a lot of chaos in your life. This intimacy, this uh, lust. And it seems as if there is a new opportunity here, but it's really up to you to cut this out, to start all over. Um, it seems as if, give me more of this devil. There could be a lot of fear, a lot of confusion. Um, again, getting Neptune energies. There could be some kind of vibe where they're trying to lure you in. You have to talk clear, clear be very clear on what you want, your intentions. Because it seems like it's going to be tempting for you. But there is, a, I'm getting a 50-50 here with this, actually. And these clarifying it. Seems as if it's really up to you to cut cut out this. Um, it could turn into um, drama between you both. But it's really up to you. It's going to be very tempting. That I'm getting temptation vibes here. It's going to... Um, illusions being on cloud nine because of this attraction this lust this fear of letting go of something or cutting out something just be careful because look at it you see all these cards that are just illusion lies heartache so just be careful it seems as if you've already got out of that and you're embracing something new here but it's up to you because there for some of you you've already got out of this and you've learned from it. Now you're ready for something new. Um, some kind of communication. Something coming through for you. For others of you, you're still in that risk. Like I said, 50-50. You're, you're going to be getting something from someone from the past. Okay, it is a general. So it's really going to play out differently for each of you. Okay, so. Interesting. Okay, we have Aries, Pisces here. Mm. Let's see. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, mm. Capricorn. I see all signs, of course. Cancer, Pisces. Oh, tch, 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 tch. yeah. Pisces and Sag. Okay. So it could be any because, of course, I have more cards in there of course let's let's keep going pyrite okay what do we have for pyrite judgment nine of swords page of pentacles mercury ghosting dreams and love Ooh, dreams someone had dreams i think oh i think no Oh, no, nobody had dreams. Okay. Um, let's see. What do we have here for love? Okay, what do we get? What do I have first? I hmm. Let, pay attention to your dreams, okay? Maybe you're working towards a dream of yours, a calling of yours. Um pay attention though. Have a dream book next to your bed. You might having you might be having dreams here, getting messages through dreams with the Mercury here. Um ooh, there might be some ghosting. Let's see, let's look into it. Someone here is stressing over some kind of past. There is communication coming through, but we'll look more into it. What is this love about? Oh, of course you got pyrite. Why did I? You might be have Leo and Mars, or there's luck, prosperity, success coming towards you. Um, pyrite, of course I have it everywhere. I have pyrite here, over here. Um, it is for, attracts abundance, wealth, and prosperity. Um... I read someone that it could also be a protector. That's why I got it, actually. Um, yeah, powerful protector. Shielding from negative energies. Um, I'm, I'm always <laughs> protected, no matter what. Because 
yeah because of my astrology chart <laughs> uh let's see give me more of this love what is this maybe you want to get some of that maybe to attract um protection here or wealth prosperity what is this love about for pyrite protection and look at that seven of swords this is somebody here putting up a wall or putting um standing their ground having some struggles here as well what is this love about maybe you've had a lot of struggles in love who hasn't everybody has um I, well not everybody i guess but everybody learns their own lessons Ooh, you're manifesting love I like this card because on the table it says as above so below right there so let's see give me more and look at that so it seems as if you've gone through uh, something you've learned something the hard way and now you hold all the cards I feel like there's something coming in as well and you're gonna be starting new um, this probably is a prediction if you already found someone then don't show them all your cards look two of cups just popped out give me more of this dreams don't show them all your cards um play your cards right something like that Ooh, dreams okay somebody here is connecting with you through dreams okay uh, be careful with somebody here that is wanting to come back in somebody that has stolen a lot of time from you has taken a lot of time energy from you okay somebody maybe maybe you're having a dream about this person but listen to that dream it's them trying to connect with you I don't like it because this is somebody that is inconsistent that um, just is not good for your energy here i don't like those two together okay because it's somebody that runs away from you uh, doesn't stay doesn't tell you everything okay what is this ghosting Ooh, what is going on wow the three of swords there's drama what happened okay these two came together sudden disappearance act cutting off all communication interesting because you got the communication and um, dealing with lack of closure yeah something here happens that maybe there is no closure here be between you and someone else but you've learned from it there is new love coming in I don't know if it's necessary new love it could be because it does there's no indicator here but it could be let's see what is this mercury what you need to know is the love is coming in though but it seems as if you are manifesting it just be careful um but i don't sense anything bad i feel like you're getting over this horrible energy okay um someone is going to be falling in love with you just play your cards right go with the flow of things give me more of this mercury if you haven't met this person already because a lot of us are starting new cycles i can already see um because a few people have actually reached out to me and um anyways but let's see mercury five of pentacles so there could be somebody here that you left out in the cold wanting to communicate with you okay somebody that's very insecure doesn't follow up and leaves you hanging out i feel like leaves you out in the cold at times someone very immature could be this person up here immature emotionally immature um yeah okay there's gonna be words communication um they are wondering about you as well okay 
they're wondering about you because they haven't heard from you maybe um, they ghosted you and they want to know how it's been going something like that it could come also through social media something like that hmm interesting because the mercury and the magician here also fall into same energy okay so let's see what is this page of pentacles yeah somebody here wants to have a conversation with you for some reason what is this page of pentacles but i feel like you are getting over this person you're going towards something that really fulfills you emotionally give me more of this nine of swords this person could have caused a lot of trauma a lot of hurt for some of you there was a lot of um, hurt at home maybe you lived with this person but things are going to turn around for you so if you're stressing about something right now you're gonna see things a lot more clear because you're opening you're opening up to your new to other options how things will unfold i feel like there's gonna be temptation here but um i but just i feel like there's gonna be temptation for some of you okay for some of you okay just be careful because it could bring stress into your life but you are actually turning your life around here from the stress by making a final judgment call you're going towards emotional fulfillment yeah see you've made a decision and you've learned from it i feel like you even feel distant from this person and you're trying to just live your life right now with your friends family you're taking action somebody here could be also traveling towards you they feel at a distance emotional or physically from you um you could actually be traveling somewhere getting with your friends family here but i feel like you've gone through so much you've learned your lesson you're thinking a lot more logically now instead of your with your heart and you're getting over this and you're going towards something really happy it makes you happy but with this person coming in they could confuse you and things could slowly turn around for you if you don't like i said up here play your cards right okay even if you meet someone here or you pay attention to this person from the past play your cards right learn from the past if they want to heal a situation with you because i do see that someone here is going to come in from the past it's really up to you of course mm -hmm. but i'm getting very different energies different storylines because i still see the past coming in the past is very much present like it still have not been somebody hasn't let go of it like the last pile they've let go of it and you can tell but here it's so present that it's like someone still hasn't let go of it um it's not for everyone but i feel like you've if for some of you you've already let go you're trying to let go and there could be some communication because you've detached from it you're even having dreams or you're you have this feeling that they're coming back but it feels like you're going towards something a lot more stronger okay but it's up to you again it's gonna be tempting when this person comes in they could come in and just stress you out though some of you have very heavy gemini in your chart too with the nine of swords here in the mercury okay gemini virgo um Sag scorpio pisces taurus aquarius leo scorpio um leo aries i just said some but i saw all elements there so it doesn't even matter okay so i hope that made sense thank you so much and let's move forward okay watermelon tourmaline let's see what is this love balance clarity 
Relationships are a currency of life and watermelon tourmaline raises awareness of soul agreements. Your impact on other people's lives. This crystal is supercharged to activate the heart chakra. Okay, so maybe you'll want to look for some of that. Um, I didn't use... I just chose that. I'm not going to get really into that. Because um, I didn't ask a question while I was pulling them. So, Because mm, that wasn't my intention. Anyways, let's see. What is this? Um, ooh, what is going on? Someone's stressing here over the past. Maybe you're relocating too. Or maybe you have plans to relocate, work, change of how, home. Um, ooh, what is going on? Okay, someone here is stressing over a conversation or stressing over some kind of dream of yours that you have, even getting into some kind of um, creation of yours, something you created. You're trying to learn more about it, um, but it seems like you it's time to surrender. It's or it could be just a dream of yours the 12th house is maybe um what is it i feel like it's kind of like um maybe you're looking towards something in order to fulfill you you know, because that's what I'm getting with the 12th house here. Like, you, maybe you're looking towards um, the outside world, something outside of you to fulfill you instead of going within. So that needs to be surrendered for some of you. Um, for others of you, of course, there is mm, something that you really need to surrender. That's causing you a lot of stress, a lot of poor health. Maybe you're neglecting yourself. Um... Hopefully it's not addictive habits. Be careful with that because this uh, 12th house could bring something like that. That could cause, you know, going to the hospital and stuff. I don't like to read on that. I'm not saying it's going to happen. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I sneezed. Oh, I've been doing all that a couple times. <laughs> it's um allergy season. It's coming in already. Anyways, um, it could also signify a... Let's see, being a victim of something. Okay, sorry about that. My dog started barking. Um, okay, let's just look into it, okay? Because I feel like there's also going to be some kind of conversation. And it's going to cause you to have a lot more empathy for someone here too, for some of you. Okay, but just be careful because it could be somebody from the past that could be dragging you down. And you have to look... Uh, you have to keep yourself in mind your health give me more of this relocation so this could be also like a warning for you what is this relocation nine of cups fulfilling some kind of dream of yours maybe even moving finding a job that requires you to move yeah there is some kind of karma coming your way something you deserve Maybe a home. Hmm. Moving into a new location. There is something here about movement. Making a decision about something. Even dream jobs here. Um, wishful thinking. Maybe you're also doing some wishful thinking. Or you're trying to manifest this. Uh, yeah. What is this? Give me more of this. Just this. I don't know why I got wishful thinking. That's interesting. Yeah, making a decision to move away, even move away from a person or or some kind of um, environment here. Think about yourself. Give me more of this poor health. Waking up and just thinking a lot more logically about what you're wishing for. Maybe even, a, like I said, a new place, new environment. See, look at that. Look how a confirmation again look how they're holding their head so 
please please i hope you're not stressing why why are they stressing here this is not for everyone it's very specific it could also be a prediction nine of wands so you feel very guarded you've been through a lot a lot of hurts a lot of disappointments a lot of hmm yeah so you're but you're maybe you're just stressed out because it's it takes a lot to move forward there's a lot of people around you surrounding you a lot of people in your head i hope not so try to keep to yourself um take some mental health days um what is this past Maybe you're trying to get over someone from the past or something. Something could also have a hold on you or could be influencing you. Something or someone. So be careful because that is a 12 house. What is this past? Oh, the dogs are barking outside. Okay, so your past is showing up. And it is a person. That wants to communicate with you, okay? Past, um, somebody's wanting to return. Okay, sorry. The, oh, my, my chihuahua started barking. You know how loud they are. Anyways, so, yeah, there is going to be some kind of communication coming through for you, okay, from the past. Um, or maybe you're feeling nostalgia because I do sense that you could also be feeling nostalgia, um, and wanting to communicate with your past again. But I feel like this is coming in. I always feel like the Eight of Wands are coming in. So it could be your past returning. They've been, if you're not stressing, if you're relocating, you're making a judgment call, this person can feel you. And they're the ones that are stressing and you're the one that is blocking them out. You're moving forward. Okay, you're surrendering. We have the 12th house. Let's see, what is this 12th house about? Oh, see, you like eight of eight of swords again in your thoughts. Something here. Maybe it was very imbalanced between you and this person from the past. Could be anybody, a friend. Uh, I'm not trying to just make it about love, but of course, a lot of you do follow me because of love. This person, there is a lot of, mm, how do I say, it became a bit toxic. I don't see the devil here, but became toxic. It became mind games, manipulation, um, and you had to go through so much to heal from it. Or subconsciously, it did something to you where you're thinking, how do I say, where you felt like you needed to... Um, like they were your happiness they completed you there nobody's ever your happiness you are your own happiness here so maybe you are trying to surrender this maybe there is also a lot of uh, manipulation about you know you having to give a lot more yeah it seems as if you were giving so much to this person they just didn't appreciate you or just kept you stuck there seems as if um you gave a lot of yourself it was very unbalanced and it had to do with a lot of mind games manipulation um yeah oh be careful with the friends around you there's a lot of envy hate as well okay um you are kind of like the victim of being influenced here by someone or a situation somebody here wants to come in and talk to you but it's up to you to make this decision to leave that and go towards your um wish fulfillment be selfish with your own love which is not always a bad thing okay especially if you're doing it to protect yourself what is this page of wands <clears throat> oh okay so don't show all your cards. This person has disappointed you. They've let you down. They've they've actually had to control the wheel here. They've actually um, controlled the situation. So and disappointed you. It I always say it takes to detangle, but in this situation, it seems like they really 
wrapped you in their fingers like so i don't know who i'm talking to what is this page of swords so they've been following you they've been seeing how abundant you look you probably are just focused on you yourself um and that's probably why they're the ones that are in their head about this but they could be wanting to come in and again wrap you up where they had you okay i feel like you're learning how to become complete within you i feel like there's progress here you're feeling secure there is abundance security stability and i feel like you're learning how to become that person um a strong person what is this queen of cups yeah you're doing some self-care self-love they could be feeling this from you and that's why they're the ones that are stressed as well but it seems like you're letting that go mm -hmm. but don't let them um try to influence you again you're getting your confidence back you're the life of the party you're feeling that and em you're embracing that oh yeah you're healing yourself big time you're taking good care of yourself so it's not you this person did have you like that before but now you're putting up a wall that's good yep you're putting up a wall and you struggled through that yeah you're ready to start new here you're blocking everybody that does not have good intentions towards you or that you know it kind of seems like for a while you felt like you had bad luck in relationships love but i feel like you're moving along even if you're not changing locations or anything like that i feel like you're making a good decisions and you're moving to a different phase in your life okay whatever and if you're working hard you're making a decisions over a house or something property you're going to get it and it's going to be some kind of dream come true for you mm -hmm. oh yeah okay that is what i have okay so i see 2020 here interesting something here could have happened that changed your mindset uh-huh and there's a lot more stability coming into your life a wish fulfillment anyways that is what i have i hope this felt like it resonated so when this person comes in be careful 12 house is also you know being under the influence be careful with anything like that um but it feels like there's gonna be a karmic a karma karma coming towards you because you did the right thing okay maybe you're healing your prayers are being answered you are surrendering to something that has happened in the past so your prayers are being answered i feel here this is it some kind of wish fulfillment um coming to pass because you've done the right thing you made the right call here with judgment okay so just be careful though there is a warning here to not look to others for any kind of fulfillment look within which i feel like you are for some of you okay so i do see gemini aries cancer here aries pisces aries scorpio libra pisces aquarius taurus libra and sag pisces okay so that is what i have did, did i say gemini gemini too okay thank you so much for watching and i will be back later take care of you bye